This is sort of a public service announcement uh, in case anybody out there wants to know an answer to a question that appears to have been on some of these uh, sites like Fish Lore and Reddit and stuff. Um, this is my uh, Japanese trapdoor snail, Muli. It's one of my first, actually my first aquatic pet um, besides maybe some fish I had when I was a kid that I don't really remember. But um, he had a friend named Squibbly and unfortunately Squibbly met to an accident and Muli has also been through the same traumatic experience but was not injured as badly. Um, I put a heater in, it's getting to be cold outside and this is my first year with the aquatic animals. So um, got a heater, does not have a protective cover on it, did not know how hot it could get, I stuck it in my tank. And um, what I think happened to both Mooley and Squibbly is that uh, they climbed up on the heater and it turned on and uh, learning how this heater is, I touched the bottom of it and it gets very hot, the top doesn't get so hot. Um, but I think Squibbly held on a little too long and I found him trapdoor up in the back probably a day after it happened and uh, brought him to the front, tried to do what I could, but he developed some biofilm on the outside of his shell and I stuck him in a separate tank um, and kept him a little bit cooler and away from all kinds of action, And uh, but he just continued to, to, to deteriorate. So he died. Um, but Mooley had a shock. I found him also upside down with his trap door up near the heater. And, uh, but he was not shocked as badly and he was coming out of his shell and uh, doing things. He's been kind of hiding. I brought him out just now and he's uh, doing better. I had to cover, I don't think you can really see, but the heater back there, I took a zip tie and I covered it with part of a plastic water bottle just until I got an, on order a cover coming in but it's preventing the snails from getting to that hot part and it's working right now. So it's just a, a plastic water bottle, a real flimsy one that I wrapped around with a zip tie and it's protecting. But you can see it's on right now. When it's on like that, it just, the bottom gets really hot. The top is fine, but the bottom gets extremely hot. Um, so yes, um, to all those people asking online, yes, you can burn your snails and kill them by putting a heater without a guard on and they will crawl on it. And if they are not used to it, um, they will injure themselves and um, it looks like this is particularly a problem with Japanese trap door snails it may not be able to feel as quickly or recognize as quickly as maybe I have also my rabbits and my um, other uh, black devils in here and they they're okay um, so um, just be aware of that and I know this has now become a long video which I didn't mean that to happen but um, yes, you can kill your snails with the heater. Yes, it can happen. I'm certain it happened to my snails. 